Welcome back to another video guys. So here we have is the King Bowling K7. Uh, as we said, it's a lovely tool, quite handy. I have plugged it in. This is uh, a starter, so we can all see. I've uh, pushed it in, you'll see an LED light, okay? And then coming over here, the way we will, well, if you wanted to do a, like um, a full diagnostic scan and seeing what, what there is fault-wise, obviously we'll do the scan, start with that, okay? I'll show you what it is capable of doing. Um, European, this is a BMW 1 Series 2016 LCI model F20. So let's see if it does pick it up. Uh, I haven't done anything and I've just uh, clicked that, see if it, so you've got these. Let's do the automatic search and see if it picks it up. It should do. There we are, it's quite quick, done. I looks a bit so let's see. Oh, there we are. So it tells you, yep, that's correct. It's auto, right and drive, yep, yep, built date, and that's it. So if we're happy, B47 engine like that, it tells you it's quite good. Um, it tells you the mileage it should be. That's quite good, you know. If you're buying, if you're a trainer, you're buying and selling cars, that'll be very good for you because I have come across cars, vans, especially vans, that have been clocked back. This will tell you instant mileage, um, and obviously everything matches on here, which is good news. Uh, 86,266. Oh, God, it tells you your mileage as well. That's brilliant. I've never come across it. I've got a hotel and I've paid a bomb for it. And I kid you not, it doesn't tell me that. It does tell me the um, mileage, as in, but it doesn't tell me... Uh, it tells me kilometres, sorry, but it doesn't tell me mileage. Right. Quite similar to launch as well, this. Um, but I have to say this is more um, quicker, more faster in terms of processor. Now you can do system scan which goes through all the uh, modules in the car and you have to manually select it or we'll do a health report and see what fault codes there are. And look at the speed that you actually go through the module. It is pretty damn good. And here we go, all done. There you are, as quick as that. 10, 10 seconds, 12 seconds, whatever it were. Which is brilliant. I mean, comparing that, now I have an hotel ultralight and I kid you not, probably as quick as this even though it's cost me thousands. But that's the difference. Again, the launch, similar speed, very similar. Um, but this is the King Bowling K7. So let's move on. For example, engine control unit. So you don't have to click on it. Oh, I didn't mean to. But um, as you saw, just a little touch of that arrow showed you what the fault code was. Tells you production day. Oh, that's brilliant. Programming the last programming date was that date and yes I mm, I didn't do that programming actually but date that's good I, even on the hotel it tells you when the last programming was done on this car so for all we know I don't know let's say it's probably had a bra I, I, I don't know something mechanically a, a headlight or a cluster or an eye drive has been updated or whatever it is it tells you which is good that's 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 good stuff to know. Uh, in other words, you do know that someone else has fiddled with it since it w it left factory. So 2015, 16 is when it's left, left factory, and that's when they did an update. So that's good. At least you know. So we'll hit continue, and now we have all these. You know, as you saw, it told us the fault code, but we already know anyway. So here we are. I'm fine with it. It's a recall on these on the BMs anyway, so I'm not interested in that. Uh, oh yeah, another thing as well. You don't have to like hit that back button. You can just slide across. Boom, takes you to the back page, which is good. I've not come across a machine that does that. Um, <clears throat> clear fault, simple, done, boom, go back on it, nothing there. Very simple. And it's so quick, as you can see, it's like as quick as it touches. Actuation test, electric fan is good. I do recommend if, you, you know, if you're in the salvage world, if you're working on salvage cars, one thing I used to check at all times after fitting the front end was to check the fan if it does work. Sometimes you fit the front end and you get you put the bumper everything back on and you're like, oh God, the fan doesn't work. So it will start overheating. So we'll hit active test. I can hear it. There we go. As you can see, 
it's got all these different functions which is brilliant you know what that is that is one thing i recommend if you're in the salvage world and you're doing them sort of games cool in i'm not interested it is what it is controls let's see what this wall flap is your yep if you've changed it and you want to be sure that it does work literally activate if you've got the EGR in front of you, you'll see the flaps and whatnot working. Okay, we're not interested in that anymore. So we know what it does. Swell flap again, same stuff. We don't need it. Uh, come out of this. This is the engine section, by the way, guys. So, do you know what? I'm quite, I like that. Yeah, this is what I meant. Look, it tells you straight away underneath. And I like the fact that it doesn't already upload it like this because imagine a, a salvage car, for instance, or a car that has so many faults and it all brings it, it brings every single fault and kind of pushes things on. This is quite neat, the way it is. Um, if you want to clear the whole fault, I don't even know what this is. So welcome, welcome, I repeat, lock active. I'm not interested, okay, clear. Let's get it all gone. Um, it's as simple as that, really. But that's your full scan and clear, okay? And there were some of the live data that you saw. Um is quite good but i'm gonna go through more in, in a second full, well i did it clear and then it's, it's automatically straight after me has done a, a full scan again to see what's come back positive yeah I, we're not interested in that anyway let's go back so in terms of like we said that's the health report system scan or even system selection they're very identical uh, even the difference would be it does a full scan on every single module and you can go into it one by one does that make sense and then the other one uh, you have to manually select it so that's um tells us okay continue again brings us back onto what we were on earlier and uh, one other thing i wanted to show you as well is um so these are the things you can do live data on um, quite a common issue, mass airflow sensors. Sometimes you have faulty mass airflow sensors. Um, you can go into a lot of things. Another, I mean, I like it. So does it let us search for suit? Suit is the DPF, guys, by the way. It's common. One thing I used to do uh, quite a lot of was for the taxi drivers, they used to come, they used to have the DPF light on, and I used to check to see if it is quite bad or not. And then after the DPF regen, I'd check again. Um... Let's hit OK. Uh, on this car is 0. Point. OK. Let me see if I can change that. I want to change it. Does it allow you to change it to it? No. But there you are. I mean, as you can see, um, I don't know what else there we can check. I like the fact that you can actually narrow it down like by clicking that. That's quite brilliant. Uh, what else? What else? Let, let's just actually, you know what? Let's get rid of this. Let's go through it. So, you guys, I'm going to go through it quick because I don't want to kill all this video by just... Um, you can have different, you can select different things and just, um, easier, this is it, fuel pump, temperature, okay, oil pressure, there's a lot of things going, I can go on all day, they always get, but as you can see there, the live data, them live data is uh, very good, uh, if you're a mechanic, you'll understand why they are good, um, so, transmission, okay, let me just come out of this, this is your normal, basic things but we'll, we'll move on to the next stage and that's um let's see special functions drive drive is the engine section by the way guys open and close blind uh, that it doesn't have this it's usually on the g models um not g models but even in the 7 series or the 5 series where they're quite fully equipped and uh, loaded in terms of spec uh, but to be fair it's got a radiator blind i'd open it and unplug the sensor because it's not good you want you want the engine to get as much as air as possible um what we're going on here, what we're going on. So setting up some more pressure, I'm not interested. Coasting system check, let's see what that is. Uh, so. Display coasting inhibitor. Let's have a look, see what this brings us. Oh, you can even hit F1 there. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to go into that. Not now. Not Oh no. So come back out of this. Yes. Uh, I don't want to be filling with that. So let's just uh, check engine tuning. I've never come across that term before. So let's see what options it gives us. So no uh, engine tuning detected by the automated test.
Hmm, I wonder if it... I, I've never really come across that. Yes, let's come across that. I've never really come across that. I'm not... I mean, guys, you can correct me. Obviously, if you've used it before me, then by all means, let me know. Uh, checking, engine tuning, I'm not sure what that is. But as you saw, there were the two options. Okay, so for some of these things, you will need to be connected to the Wi-Fi. So let's go carry on. Okay, so what do we have stand so but this will be uh, I thought I thought it was gonna bring like what it would brought uh, on the hotel machine. Usually the expert smooth engine, DPF engine, okay. So this kind of just tells you it's just F3, it's gonna be a live data this I guess. Similar to the live data. Expert mode, maybe it gives you more functions. Okay, let's carry on. Okay, so you adjust these. I'm not gonna start messing around with them, but it just tells you thousand. Okay, where it, where the idle should be and whatnot. Okay, I'm not gonna go so much on that one. I'm not interested in that function, but it's good to know that it has that. Um. It's got a lot more compared to the launch because I remember system start learning glow elements reset of correction that day your injectors increase idle speed smooth running engine that'll check your injectors on a fuel system bleeding reset adaptions reset production okay there is a lot of functions I, w I really wasn't expecting this this will be for your reset start lock um so on the E models, um, so you like your BMW E82, E90s, whatnot. You used to get a red steering lock on there, or amber, and the car wouldn't start on some of them. You do that, and it'll reset it, which is good. It's got quite a lot of functions. Uh, calibration of the transfer box, okay. Transmission, coding in. That's that's brilliant. Do you know what this has? Probably, I'd say as much as. Uh, functions as me uh, or tell does come out of the engine uh, maintenance is your service and whatnot so for example let's just have a look vehicle information vehicle status service requirements so it's these here so let's just say engine oil i don't know what, what does it say on the seven thousand miles okay so you've got okay cbs reset this one here uh, okay. So it's going to set the time and date. But on this function, the reason I've selected this is because on the launch and the hotel and whatnot, it will. There you are. So here it is. It says engine life. So the engine oil, sorry. It's got 49% left. Front brake, 18%. I'm just going to do this so you can just get a, a hint of what it does and what it can't. So as we can see there. Okay, and it says it's in progress. So that's going to change to 9,000 miles. As you can see, it's doing it. Lovely. All done on that then. Performed. Please wait. Okay. So let's just wait. 19,000 miles is what it is. You can change that 19,000 by the way. You can. There are functions on the. I'm sure it is. But that's that as you can see guys. Yes. Um, simple service correction. Again you can change it. The modes. Driver assistance, you know, I don't know, it's calibration, wheel electronic warning, and okay, oh, DC, oh, brilliant. It's got a lot of, do you know, it's got a lot of different um, options. I, w I really wasn't expecting it to be so um, fulfilled with different, so, okay. Special functions, what would be on on, coding and programming is my main one, and this is what I like. The fact that this has coding and programming, then it's worth the money. If it didn't, I'd say no, don't buy it. But since it does, for the price you pay for this, it's a no-brainer. Coding, okay. Retrofit, yeah, I will, we'll go into it. It's, oh, shizzle. 
yeah, let's do the backup and uh, recover first. Actually, <laughs> it's a good step. I, I, I was going to start off with, please do the backup first, as we accidentally selected. Well, it's what we're going to do first thing because you don't want to start programming and coding on the car, and you haven't backed it up because if it does. You know, go the wrong way, then you are screwed. Um, and you have to use um, the dealer software to revert it back and whatnot. Sometimes these other machines may not have it, but we'll see. So, system wide backup input. Okay, so I'd recommend on this. I, I can't remember what today's date is. Third, maybe. So the third, eight, twenty four. That's the way I would do it. Oh. Okay, this kind of tells me the date, so that's day, month, year. Okay, so let it do its backup. Okay, and once it has, then we'll move on to the um, coding and programming. But yeah, do not do the mistake, make sure you always back it up. So let it do this, seems to be quite quick with the coding. So, it tells us what's been coded and, uh, sorry, what's been backed up. Might exist, okay. So, we're happy with that. Uh, let's continue. So, come back out of this. Go into coding. Retrofit, again, is similar to the coding, but I'll, I'll go through that in a second. Tells us what we have. Yep, that's fine. Similar to what I'd expect from the hotel as well, so... This does take time, it doesn't matter to be fair, on, on most diagnostic machines it will take a minute or so maybe till it allows us to go into the coding section. Pretty quick. So let's do well, where we start. I mean there's a few things you can I mean let's just say you change the headlights, which I don't wanna play around with it too much, but that's left side, that's right side, you'd hit it. Then that our cast system It'll take a few minutes, he says, but it's fine. Um, yeah, go for it. These are the options. That's what's been already selected. You can pick different options. Um, you can click on that. But um, they don't take long. I mean, I don't know, whatever you've changed, look at the code on the module, pair it up to that, done. Um, but you best connect into the Wi-Fi for some bits and bobs. But really, I'll put it back onto that in a bit. And um, but if you like, I said if you change the headlights, click on the left, select it, done. I'll code it in. It may bring warning sometimes, may not. Just depends. I wouldn't recommend ending any session until it's fully done, because you are going to corrupt the file, and sometimes it'll be a, a ball ache to revert back. So yeah, that's that's one. I mean, uh, personalization. Let's go on to that. Uh, okay, so these are common use functions, hidden parts of function. Okay, these are where probably the hidden features are. Okay, telling us. Okay, we're on it now. So um. Remember, not all these functions will work. It's the same on, I don't know, hotel and launch and whatnot. So, you've got the seatbelt warning there, okay? Obviously, I haven't put my seatbelt on. Let's see if it, it is under here. So, clicked on that. Um, backup vehicle coordinator. Let's just do it. I know I've done it, but let's just do it. Um, oh, it's already been done. It's covered. Okay, that's fine. I, I always like to be safe. Function selection. Hit yes. And let's see what it gives us. Let's see if it gives us any uh, any of that information. When you... oh, here we go. So, seatbelt warning, sound duration. That's fine. Passenger seatbelt warning enabled. Disable. Driver seatbelt warning enabled. Disable. Driver seatbelt in. Okay, that's so that's the status. 
So that is that warning there. Not the fact that it beeps. We've turned the beep off, but it's that warning. That's gonna be annoying, especially at night time as you're driving. So we'll do that. And then disable. Okay. Hit okay. It'll take a minute or so, but um, at least we can be sure. And that might not go off straight away, so you might have to turn the car on and off and uh, lock or unlock. Okay, so let's see what's happened. Maybe I haven't done something right. Um, it did tell me to update something and I haven't, so that's probably why. Yeah, my bad guys, I hadn't um, updated everything fully. I will do in a sec when I go back in, but I'll just show you other, other features it has. So, transmission. I like this, to be fair. Um, so what you can do, you know like on some of the BMs you have this Sport, so that, you know this, you've got Sport, and then you've got Sport Plus. Not all of them come with Sport Plus, or some have Comfort and don't have Eco Pro, okay? So this one, where is it? Activate Sport Switch, Sport Plus, you can disable. That's where the Sport Plus is, brilliant. Um, it has that, I'm not gonna play around with it because it's already been fully loaded in that sense. Um, engine control module, what, what, I don't know what functions will be given there. Um, I don't think it has anything anyway, not the engine section. Um, but other, other bits and bobs, I don't know. Let's have a look at the, let's see, let's see, let's see if there is anything under these. It's usually the electronic side of it, like, you know, the interior side, let's, let's have a look at the cast. And I like the fact that it gives you names. Um, like, you know how it tells you there. Some don't, some give you code. Or to unlock doors after the engine is shut. Just go, that's what I like. Or to start, stop. Um, it's lasting out, not interested. And see, there is a lot of options that you can turn on and off. So, turn lamps count. Here it is. See, that's in German, maybe, I don't know. Turn on the left fog lamp when the courtesy lamp is on. Oh, okay, courtesy. Turn on the right fog lamp when courtesy lamp. So, like, some of these, right, so I'll tell you what it is. So, you know when you have the car on, obviously, when you're driving and you sometimes you get to a junction and you want to, or when you want to do a full turn, you lock the steering wheel to a certain degree. The fog light turns on and brightens on that side. It's just an assistance. Um, it will have it. There's a lot of functions on it. So, here we are. Brightness, I'm just want to ambient light. Uh, from passenger switch on headlock motion yeah headlock motion obviously this car doesn't have that function that's where the jet wash is uh, the bumper pops out it's usually on the 4 series but the 3 series maybe um, driver's door brake light switch high mount this car does not have that LED it's what's on the door handles just underneath but you can add it and then turn it on it will function but yeah wow there is plentiful there is a lot of things i'm not even halfway well i'm just about halfway now close windows and some roof have to come for closing of doors hmm nice that's with the key rear view mirror i'm trying to start speed just more vehicle speed okay so speed yeah oh it's not like we're doing silly speed so we don't need that but do you know what, guys? There is a lot of function. Even, I'll be honest, not even my hotel had all these um, uh, functions. I don't know where to put this. It's a bit. There's hell loads of options you can select, guys. Wow. Okay, so that's that. Well, yeah, like I said, just make sure you... Um, Don't think there'll be anything for that. I doubt it, but we'll find out. Oh, there is. Hmm. Only three options, which you can't even. 
talk with a car information computer. Let's see. Usually, um, show engine power and torque enabled. That, let me see if it has it actually. It's usually on the M Sport vehicles, not on all of them actually. Uh, sport display, there you are. There you are. That's what that is. Um, pop up. And you, even on the navigation as well, you can play about with it. You know, like it shows you the lanes, the arrows, and whatnot. Um, this will do it. I'm just, I'm just giving you like the basics of what it can and what it can't do. And there is a lot of functions. This is a no-brainer. If you ask me, I'd happily go with this all day long. Uh, again, you, it depends on your budget, but if this can do what a two, three grand machine can do, then what's the point in splashing the money? And again, like I said, if you want to absolutely nail every function there is, then go ahead and buy every dealer software and you're going to be out thousands of pounds, whereas this covers a lot of... That's the sound system. I've played around with this before in the past um, in terms of sound system on the hotel. Uh, it's amazing that this has also um, this function. I've uh, had people come, they've changed the speakers and whatnot, added bits and bobs. And all I've done is enabled it and the sound system will change. It changes already, but there's not... It's a bit different. It kind of like dims if you've not corrected it. So let's have a look. High beam assistance. I'm just going through it so you can see what it's capable of, guys. So you can certainly slow this down or stop it at any point if you want to read it. M drive mode selection. So that's on the M, M, M's, like, I don't know, uh, M140s, M2s, M3s, M4s. Actually, it's on the M1, M2s, M3s, M4s, where you've got M1 and M2, if that makes sense. And you just, it's the option, really. And it kind of tells you there. Here it is. Nav uh, 3D map. Um, enable it. That's if it does have it, and if it's up to date, it will do it. So go back. Um, drives or air conditioning. I'm not interested. The control. I don't think. I don't know. That's that's that. I don't think of the result for it. No, I doubt. I was doubting that as well. But yeah, the, do you know what? There's a lot of functions. Retrofit. I'm not even going to go into in too much detail since they were all in there. There's nothing special in this. This will just kind of tell you what's been. Plotted in the car. Let's see if it does tell us. And yeah, you can add like heated seats. It'll be all on them functions, not the retrofit and the uh, personalized one. I really do like it. I really do. It's a good size screen as well. It's not small. <laughs> if you've changed the battery, which we have, and it's 90 AH, AGM, start, stop. These are all the codes, by the way. They're the specific codes to this car. This is the spec that that, that this car has. There, as you can see. Uh, okay. Oh, I should have said no. I've not done the battery change. Come that. Okay. I'll come out of it completely. But, uh, hey, there you are, guys. Um... The vehicle coverage, there you are, I think I'm on Europe, yep, let's come out of this actually, this is what it covers, I think the only, it would be nice if they had the logo of the car there, because sometimes, I don't know what that is, but I may have seen the logo. Or smart, I know what it is. Some people don't, and they recognize it by the logo. Uh, some of these, I wouldn't have a clue. If you upgrade, so this is what I hadn't updated earlier, guys. You know where, where it kicked me out. So, um, start all. This is why I didn't decode the um, so I let it do all this. 
But one thing I have to say, this is better than the launch by far because the launch, some of the vehicles that you saw on here was asking for payments. Whereas this already has it. And the good thing is, this is a three year update. The launch is only two years. So you save yourself a good few hundred quid um, on these. I will uh, certainly put the link down, guys. By all means, any questions, anything you want me to answer, I will try my best to get back to you all as soon as I can. But you got to appreciate, I probably get good, good, powerful 20, 20 messages a day. Uh, I mean, comments as well on the YouTube channel. But um, thanks to you all. Uh, I appreciate your support, by all means. Like I said, anything, just try it down. I'll try and get back to you. Uh, and if you wanted to privately message me, there is the Facebook message. Um, you can join it now. I'll try my best to get back to you on there as well. All right.